channel. If you're new here, a big warm welcome. My name is Ella and I'm here to share with you what and where to eat in Rotterdam. It's been a very, very long time since I went out to eat and I am so excited to be back. I got up this morning, I was super excited, but I was so tired. So I had to take a cold, cold, cold shower to wake myself up. Nonetheless, we're here, I'm excited, let's get started. So I wanted to contribute to the Black Lives Matter movement in my own way. And I figured what better way to do that than support black owned businesses, in my case restaurants, by featuring them on my channel. So we are at Coco today. And Coco is owned by Chef Manuela. I'm already smelling some food. There are people in here, they're already eating and it smells amazing. So I'm so excited. We ordered a bunch of things and uh, I can't wait. Coco a Caribbean fusion restaurant where the food is just as colorful as the interior. Opened in late 2019, Coco scored number 8 as best newcomer out of 80 candidates. Serving a mix of Caribbean foods, here you can munch on tasty goodies from Suriname, Curacao, and Cape Verde, just to name a few. Ingredients are bought at local shops right here in Rotterdam. This place is all about serving soulful food to put a smile on your face. And they did just that. Okay, so we have our drinks. Look at how beautiful that looks. So I have the red fruit laos. I almost don't want to stir it up because you see that beautiful gradient? It's so magical. So it doesn't specify which red fruits exactly, but I'm, I'm thinking raspberry, maybe strawberry even. Mm. And then there's a hint of rose, I think. Oh God, so fresh and sweet. Tropical island. Lemongrass, it's a citrusy type homemade lemonade. Ooh. Also very fresh. This one is a little bit more mild. And with this nice hint of ginger. What? This is probably like the best way I could have started my food adventure again. Okay guys, we have a table full of goodies. And I don't even know where to start. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this from the top of my head, but we have here a Johnny cake filled with cheese. It's kind of some type of a dough, it's almost like a bread like dough uh, with cheese. And then we have another one here with fish. And we have this beautiful looking platter with all kinds of things on it codfish, croquettes. Then we have cheese balls, we have meatballs, spicy chicken wings, cassava, sweet potato fries, and Yucca balls that comes with like this beautiful platter of all types of condiments. Let me break them down for you real quick. We have a chili mayo, sriracha, an onion chutney, wasabi mayo, citrus mayo, a passion fruit sambal, and a ponzu sauce. Everything smells amazing. Everything looks amazing. And I think I'm gonna start with one of the yucca balls. Now yucca is cassava. Other people might know it as cassava. Uh, this is what it looks like. Smells good. Welcome to Snacker. My mom says it's sriracha. Mm. Yuka has a very mild taste. You know cassava? It has a very earthy taste, but it's mild. And then the sriracha gives it a nice kick. I'm very curious about the passion fruit one. I really don't do well with spice. Was it super hot? Oh, you haven't tasted it. Alright. Hmm, it's not hot. Oh. Oh. It's not too spicy, but it definitely has like a it sneaks up on you. Not bad, not bad at all. On the menu you can see which sauce goes with what bite, but get crazy, get wild like us, and try everything with everything. Next up we have the cassava, very simple and basic flavor. But every other flavor going on here, this is very plain. It's kind of like a basic to come back to, balance your palate. Oh, and in case you were wondering, these spicy meatballs and spicy chicken wings were definitely a hit with my mom. Here we have a little cheese ball. We got recommended to have the cheese ball with this, I believe it was like a sweet onion dressing. So I'm gonna do just that. It's a very interesting combination as the onion has a type of bitterness to it and the cheese is quite savory. Meet the Johnny Cakes. When I was younger and I first heard about Johnny Cake, 
I thought it was an actual cake, so you can imagine my disappointment when I found out it wasn't. Nonetheless, I've really come to appreciate them. These airy flatbreads are made with cornmeal and then fried to perfection. There are many variations made across the globe. And here's me shamelessly adding an insanely small amount of sambal. I'm usually not into codfish prepared this way because it's too salty for me. It sometimes becomes a bit too chewy and I don't like that. This version, however, is quite mild. It's not too salty, it's not chewy, it's actually quite soft. I never thought I'd like bakoyao. So as I'm going to all these new places and visiting new restaurants and trying new foods, I'm also learning to eat things that in the past I didn't like. In my previous video, I said I'm no fan of dressings, but they had an amazing dressing. Your girl is into dressings now. Pom is a popular Surinamese casserole that's made from grated root of tire, something we like to call pom tire. There's usually chicken and or salted meat in it, but this one's made with tempeh and mushrooms. But I've never had it on a burger. Usually you eat pom with rice and a little bit of vegetables. Crazy fun fact. So this pom, Coco's pom, is the number one pom in the Netherlands of 2019. Crazy part about this crazy fun fact is that it's vegan. And the people, when they tried it, they didn't even know that it was vegan. Wow. Okay, wait. Hold up. This, my friends, is pom, how you would eat it at your grandmother's house at your mom's house, at your auntie's house, at a family party. You know when you have like food from your culture, you know what it tastes like, you go out to eat and they claim, you know, they claim to sell that food and then you eat it and you're like, mm, that's not it. This is the opposite. This is good bowl. <laughs> this, I believe, is the mushroom. So it looks like a piece of meat. And I like how simple it is, you know, there's just a little bit of tomato there and there's a little green here. You can see it's not a soft bun, it's a little crunchy, like it has a, wait, hear that? <laughs> when you bite into the middle of it, and you get that warm, that, that, that gooey, that mushy part, you know. The taste literally brings me back to when I was a little younger. Can't say anything else other than that it's really good. This was the codfish croquette. I, croquette? Croquette. It's such a weird word to say in English because in Dutch it's like croquette. Like croquette. Anyways, this is it. We're gonna try. Mm, it's super creamy. The fish is just like super soft. So compared to the fish in the bread, this is a bit more salty. What I like about this is the different textures. On the outside, you get it like very crunchy, and then the inside is super smooth, and just, it's silky smooth, really. It doesn't really need a sauce. I mean, you can try. There's a variety of sauces you can try, but I don't really think it needs it. So guys, that was it here at Coco. I hope you enjoyed. We ordered a lot of food, and there's still a lot of food left on the table. We're gonna finish it, if by any chance, you come here to eat and you can't finish it, you can always get it to go. That is not a problem. This is the first one in my black owned business series. If you see this video and you're like, hey, I know a black business in Rotterdam, please do hit me up because I really want to be of more help. But for this one, that was it. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. As you can see, the food totally knocked me out, but it was so worth it. Help me share good food and support black owned businesses by liking this video and sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.